So you may be wondering why does this girl have a face cam in a programming tutorial. I will give you my reasons in the description because I don't want to go on a five minute long rant as of why, just say I have a good reason. As you know, I like to post tutorials on this channel uh, for things that I haven't been able to find myself, whether they're huge projects or little, very little things. And today's tutorial is going to be one of those little things that you just can't find out or you spend an hour trying to figure out when it was such a little thing and no one has really posted a solution to it. So today we're going to be learning how to just draw the simplest square on Java uh, filled in with any color you want. That's it. So to get started, I made a new project called Rectangle and then I'm going to make a new class. And I'm just going to call this a uh, square because I want to make a square. Let's do this. Okay, we want to initially extend JFrame because we will be using a lot of things on JFrame. Like, a lot. And we're going to get an error here because we also need that to be a capital F and to import it as well. So, so I went ahead and imported everything that you're going to need just for a simple square, which is going to be the frame of the window, the color of the square, and the graphics, which is going to be like the shape and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and start a public class inside of this class. Because we essentially want to have a main class, and then when we want to call a class to essentially build the square. So we're going to start with a public main class. So, oh, I forgot my void. So here's our main class, and then we want to initialize a object that will create this square for us. So we want to create an object that will make this square, so we can use the, the public constructor of our class square. So the public constructor, or default constructor, if I should say, is just the public and then the name of the class, and then parameters, and brackets. And then now we can call that square. I'm actually really bad at like making names, so excuse me for my my lack of creativeness new square and now we are going to create our window that our square will be in so I'm going to set the title of this window and I'm gonna call this square and the size of the window so I decided to set it to 1000 pixels to 1000 pixels because that's fairly large you can also make it resizable or modify this however way you want I'm going to set it visible so that we can see it. I'm also going to set default close operations so that so that when we exit this window, it will close. The software or program will close because we don't want it running in the background. So I'm going to make a paint class. Void. And we want to send in the graphics. And now using this graphics that we're sending in, there's a lot of methods that come with this. Um, I will put the link down below of the graphics Java doc, but essentially it helps you be able to customize any sort of component whatever way you want. So it will essentially help us make our square. So we start with the name of our graphics we set, which was G, which most people usually do G. This graphics comes with a lot of methods right here, a lot, and Eclipse helps me with a list of the given methods that you can also see on the Java docs as well. So I'm going to set the color of this. It's very important to set the color first because if you do it after, the color will not show up. It will just be 
black on top of the color you want. So you essentially want to set your color first. And I want to do like a cute blue. So you can do color dot and there will be a list of all these colors you can do. You can obviously modify these colors as you can see to be right here. You can, you can have it be whatever you want. But I'm going to do, let's do cyan. So now I'm going to put in the filled square in, which is just the fill rectangle, the fill rectangle call. And this X and Y are going to be the coordinates where your rectangle is located on your window. So I'm going to do 100 and 100. And then width and height, I want to make a square. So I'm going to just do the same width and height as well. And we're going to press play. And as you can see here, we have our filled in square. And if you want an empty one, you can also do g dot draw rect. And it'll be the same input as fill rect. And that is all you need to do to make a simple filled in square on Java.